Good morning, good morning and welcome. It's Julie Kerr from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Oh, you must be getting fed up of hearing that. But anyway, for those that have just joined, um, they don't know who the heck I am. So, hence the introduction. I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I've gone over 85,000 subscribers and I truly, truly thank you all for that. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and help me reach my next milestone. I'm hopefully trying for 100,000 subscribers by January, which is my birthday. So I want to show my kids, my grown-up kids and my grandchildren that even a nana can have a successful YouTube channel. Okay, that being said, I'm using this old Scrabby-Doo canvas um, because I'm using it for a test pour. Now, I've been sent these marvellous, marvellous cups by a young man called uh, Tim Husband, and they're the cups to do pours through and different things when I where did I get that how did I get that now oh, I did that way that ah, that way oh anyway I'm not using that one today but he sent me the different cups and he makes them and I will put his email address below so this is my second attempt at one of his cups I haven't tried that petal one yet when I work it out, I will try it. I've tried the three chamber one. Now I'm going to try this open cup. I've been wanting to do an open cup for a while. So I thought, give this a go. So there you go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to coat my canvas. I'm going to put, um, don't necessarily have to do this. It's all personal choice. I know lots of people say, oh, you didn't put a base coat down there. You know, um, so and so puts base coats. We, you don't have to do. You just do what you think is best. Uh, remember, it's your art room, your rules, your way. So, whichever way, there's no set rules in this particular um, <laughs> art form. It's any rule, you know, counts. So you don't have to worry about. Um, what somebody else does if you find a way that you're happy with then go for it now Having said that this absolutely gorgeous color that I'm putting on here is a custom color I've created Now I make my own navy blue because I love it Which I add I have got a video on custom colors in my playlist But I use the phalo blue I add a good dash of black and a good dash of dark green and it makes this lovely navy but this particular navy I had a good old squirt of gold in it if you do the mixture with a lot of gold in it it goes oh have I got a card that shows you yes I have if you put a oh where's that the gold but no 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 it's not got Okay, that's phalo blue. Add if you just have phalo blue, add a blob of gold. It goes like a green, deep greeny emerald. But this one was the navy, and I added metallic gold, and I can just see it glistening in here from the metallic particles in it, and it looks super duper. So I really like that. So that's a nice base color. Well, it's a, you can use it whenever. So, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whirly gig. So I'm going to start up there. I'm going to pour some of these delicious colours that I have. Um, and go for it. So this is the open cup pour. I'm not actually going to use too much paint in these particular, this particular small canvas. So that was the um, cerulean blue and bright yellow. Now this is a custom one I made up out of the phalo blue and silver. Wowzers, trousers. And then this one is turquoise. No. 
I may, should I or shouldn't I? I might put some of the other blue on top of the cerulean. I may put some yellow on top of the metallic blue that I've got going in there. And I may put some turquoise on top of the yellow. Throw in the mix. I'm going to add a little bit of this is magenta. You've probably got way, way, way too much for this small canvas because I <laughs> believe it or not, I wanted to leave some negative space, but I don't think that's going to happen with all what I've thrown into the mix there. Oh my goodness, I love that navy. I love this navy colour. It's beautiful. So I'll just make sure there's plenty on my canvas where I want to travel around to. And it's open cup. So... Ooh. okay wow that looks like now it's given me the idea to make could make a beautiful um it's one of those colorful tropical fish i can see an eye there right there and a mouth wow that's given me inspiration to go completely on a different tangent <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to tilt this all out but I'm going to just see what I can get out of this at the moment because I'm seeing a vision here and I, I want to go with it for a minute. I'll turn it around so you can see what I'm seeing. Might just have to leave him like this. Wow. It's funny what shows itself up in your pores that you... Okay, do you see what I see? Look at this. Look at my gorgeous fish. How beautiful is he? Let me put some heat on him. I don't think I want to touch it. <laughs> Let's get the bubbles out. I suppose before I do anything, I will tilt this around, but before I do anything, I must take a photo of that. That's just gorgeous, and it could be a lovely print. Um, I just took a few photos of my gorgeous fish. I don't really want to tilt it and you don't have to but like I said this was on a crappy canvas I knew it and you pour something as a test pour and it was on this crappy canvas and now I love my fish but it's on such a bad canvas that I don't want to I'm just going to continue with my little experiment um, but now I know what I can create with the cup I will certainly I don't know why my metallic is breaking up with the yellow there so it's not breaking up here with the red but the red and yellow there are breaking up so that's a bit interesting but look at those cells I'm gonna try for my negative space people I know that you don't trust that I will do it but I am going to try I'm going to try and pour that yellow off that's um, the yellow and blue that's cracking there not liking that it 
Go be off with you. Off with your head. Okay. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Now this looks like a dragon's head or something now. I will turn him around on creating some um, lovely animals in this one. He's got a bit of a bump on his nose. He's got the dragony nose. I'll turn him around and let you see him. Wow. There you go. My dragon. Look at the dragon. The dragoon, as my son would have said when he was a baby. Well, there you go. I just... <laughs> you can believe it or not, I'm going to leave negative space. There you go. Just having a little bit of doodles. Noodles, doodles, whatever you call them. Lovely. Wowzers, trousers. There you go. Keep my dragon head. I should have made that to look like an egg, so it was the dragon and its egg. There you go. It was just, as I said, it was a test pour for those cups, but I think my paint has somehow reacted to that yellow and blue, the metallic with the yellow. I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, it's a little bit weird. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me again. Something different, the open cup pour. I will try it in a different method for sure. See what I get. Um, maybe try it from the center and kind of burp it out, allowing the um, separate paints to come out. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining me again. I will be back tomorrow. And yeah, please don't, um, please stay safe don't get in any trouble <laughs> okay bye for now